Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another Tynamite Plays. Now, I was planning on doing a Kingdom Hearts Tynamite Plays this week. However, I found this old recording from a year ago. So, I'm going to use this instead. I actually recorded this originally in Kingdom Hearts 2.8 for the 15 year anniversary of Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why I never released it because I watched it through and I had a good laugh at it. So I thought what a great time to edit it, put it together. Almost a year ago to the day, the 27th of March 2017, I recorded this. So, why not I guess? Uh, so that's pretty much why I'm putting this out and I'll be referencing 15 year anniversary, all those sort of nonsense throughout this video. When it's actually more like the 16 year anniversary as of now. So anyway guys... Just a disclaimer before it starts, thanks again for watching, I hope you enjoy it, it's a good time, a good laugh, and uh, I'll see you later. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts 2.8. <sighs> oh god, there it is, there's the music. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here because it's the Kingdom Hearts, the day I'm recording this, the 15 year anniversary of Kingdom Hearts, and obviously... 1.5 plus 2.5 has come out for the US today, but it hasn't come out in Australia till Friday the 31st of March, so I'm going to play 2.8 today just in celebration of 15 years of Kingdom Hearts, 15 years of this franchise being a part of my life, and to the fact that I'm an adult now, and hearing this music, I'm literally about to fucking cry. Oh god. Mmm. God damn it. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with, we're going to play some Kingdom Hearts 0.2. And I think, ooh, I would love to play uh, the last boss battle for Sora, play as Sora, uh, because, you know, it's, you know, he's the OG, he's the original character, so the 15th anniversary, I want to play as Sora. And we're going to do his last boss battle in Drip of Distance, and then we're going to start a new playthrough of 0 0.2 birth by sleep on critical uh, so let's do it I'm excited so I just realized that I just I've already played Sora's last boss battle recently so I'm literally at the part again so once you beat the game it lets you play as Sora and Riku but once you start the ending of Sora you can't play as him and you got to finish Riku so we're gonna play Riku's last boss battle instead of Sora, so that's okay, at least we're playing a bit of Drift of Distance, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? So here we are, at the world there never was. Gonna fight young Xemnas, the end of Dream Drop Distance. I don't want to totally spoil the story here, so I'm gonna skip this cutscene. Sora! There's our sweet boy, Sora. <laughs> So I'm going to skip this scene, I don't want to spoil it, but we got to see Sora, at least. Now let's get to the battle with young Xemnas! I thought this was the hardest boss battle uh, in the game for me. There's some hard ones that I kind of just went through maybe out of luck. I remember uh, James talking to me about one of the boss battles, and he's like, I fucking hate it. And I did it first try, I remember messaging at the time I was doing it, going, oh no, I did it first try, and he's like, fuck you, it took me like an hour. Ah, uh, funny. But this one he found easy. Ah! I haven't played this in a couple weeks, so I might fuck this up royally. Yep, okay, well. Ah, oh, fuck off with your timer bullshit. You fucking slut, Xemnas. Yeah, well, there it is. Fucking hell. Trying to block and be all badass, and he's just wrecking my life. This is literally the first battle I'm doing with like a month of not playing because of Horizon Zero Dawn. So I really need to figure out how to play first. Yeah. 
What the fuck? Fuck off, Zemnus. Fuck off! You piece of shit. I blocked it! No! Okay. Falling against some fucking hits on you, you piece of shit. No? Okay, well... <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ! Fuck off! You were quite a twat, I must say. It's just like, it's more or less, it's, Kingdom Hearts sometimes isn't even about like, doing well, it's just about not dying and surviving long enough that somehow you'll, you'll get him enough health down to win. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. That is not the move, that ice move can fuck you up. Fuck you, yes! You're fucked, boy! Oh shit, I forgot about this. Oh yeah, he's got a fucking... Oh yeah, I forgot this. Fuck off. You're fucked. Oh, missed that. Missed that. No, I got that. Yeah, boy, fuck off! Because if you don't get that in time, like, he gets a bunch of health bars back. Fuck your clock, bitch. Fuck your clock! Hey, young Xemnas, fuck you. You've literally just got to do this. The first time I did it, I didn't realize, and they just literally wrecked my life. Because you can't hurt them. You've literally just got to outlast them and block them. And then you hit it until the next ones come out. They start... Oh, 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 yep. There's those ones. Yep, they're there. They're there as well. Definitely they're there. Yep, that's there as well. It's not a very interesting last little boss bit. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh fuck, I'm low health. I don't want to just make one mistake and I'll, and I'll literally die and this whole thing will be over. Let, let's just heal, just so he's safe. <gasps> you fuck, Zemnus! You little bitch boy! I won! I fucking won, bitch! There was really no excuse for me not winning, other than at the start where I'd forgotten how to play the game. We're gonna skip all this nonsense. I've never done a commentary in Kingdom Hearts before. This is actually my first one. So. It's one of those games I'm not used to having to talk like this over because it's such it's one of those games that really does a lot of the time require such focus. Hey Shadow Saurus, fuck off, you sluts. Fuck you Shadow Saurus, I'm not dealing with you. I'm heading to the ring. I'm heading to the ring. 
Fuck you. I'm out of here. Let's get to this final boss battle. The real final boss battle. It's not really the final boss. It's just kind of like... Because. Where it's like Shadow Sora. Night Sora, whatever it is. I have no idea what this is hard. I don't remember, to be honest. Oh, I can't even see him. He's literally fully black. That's some dark armor. Okay, well... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like this. Stop running from me! Get out of the way, my guy! Stop running! He's scared. He's fucking scared of me, the bitch. Won't even stand still to take a hit from me. It's almost like he doesn't want to die. Oh fuck! What the fuck are now? I don't like that. I don't like those darkness powers you've got going on, Sora. I don't like it. Oh, the block's not working there. Get, get out of here, you fucking orb things of darkness. No, no, fuck off. Stop running from me! the end there mate you ran from me ah oh, fuck off you're fucked boy oh he's got like no health left just fuck off you slut oh shit he's doing something I don't like that one bit Just button spam! Button spam! Yeah, boy! Thank God, if I lost, that would have been embarrassing. Gotta play it, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to see this shit. I can't give you all the answers. I can't let you see the end. Destiny Island. Oh, this this feels... Whew. 15 years, ladies and gentlemen. Kingdom Hearts. What a franchise. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for some more celebrations of 15 years of Kingdom Hearts, we're going to play some Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep. A glimpse into the future of Kingdom Hearts and what Kingdom Hearts 3 looks like. Carry over clear data. Sure, I guess. We're going to have this on critical mode. 
and just die a whole lot, it'll be great. We're gonna have a great time. Oh god, those graphics. Ridiculous. God damn it. The master's master's eye. He sees all. What do you see, I? What do you want? Remnants of the Keyblade War in the Keyblade Graveyard. Crazy. So that's like a vision of the end of Birth by the Sleep. The battle with Xehanort is almost upon us. Okay, here we go. We got some more cutscenes here. Know. I don't really want to watch any of this. I'd rather just get to the actual, you know, substance of this story. Yeah, again, I love all these cutscenes. Brilliant, beautiful cutscenes, but we don't have time for this. We're here to play. We are here to play. In the realm of darkness as Aqua. Oh. Could it be? Dark world. This place isn't your friend, Aqua. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Now this game is just the beautiful glimpse into the future of this franchise and what Kingdom Hearts 3 looks like. And how far this franchise has come, and I want to look back on that, you know, 15 years on now. From what that first game was to where we are now, it's so similar in the best ways, but so beautiful, new, and refreshing in other ways. It's hard to believe when I look at this, honestly, that I'm like, wait, this is, this is Kingdom Hearts? This game especially, 0.2, it's, it's, it's a very different vibe. It's the most unique and dark vibe of all the Kingdom Hearts games. It's so just depressing. But it's only, you know, two, three hours long. But God, it's a depressing three hours, that's for sure. Why is Cinderella's world here in the darkness? I do love that you started at a high level with, with all these abilities. Just so good looking at combat. Ah! Going all crazy with these controls at the moment. I just manhandle these little shadows. You fuck, boy! Days or years pass with each step. I know something has started to go wrong. I must hurry. What a depressing story. You're playing as a character that you love from birth by sleep. Right. It's an important figure, and she's trapped in darkness, and a whole world that she knows, all her friends, is going on and on and on at such a fast pace, and there's nothing she can do about it. She's just all alone. I love the unique feel to the music. And how it builds that atmosphere. But also the unique feel to it being such a claustrophobic game. I as guess well. I know which way I'm going. The only way you can go, Aqua. A little bit of flow motion in my life. I 
haven't felt my heart stir in a long time. Something about this place. It looks like worse things are stirring. Combat just flows so well, I forget. Because I've only played, you know, this the one time through. This flows so beautifully. The lighting. Oh. I can't speak more highly of how this looks and how, you know, knowing that this is what Kim Art 3 is going to look like, you know, it just makes me even more impressed by it all. That I'm gonna get a full, you know, what would probably be a 50 hour game in Kingdom Hearts 3. At least, better be at least 50 fucking hours. I've waited only, I don't know, 10, 11 years for the fucking Kingdom Hearts 3. It God damn it. I thought I had nothing in life to lose. Oh, Aqua. Mims. So we're going through the whole thing, really, Aqua? I get it. You're sad. It's depressing. We got shit to do, Aqua. Here, too. Everyone in this world thought that they were safe. Not just the people, but the dog waiting for his owner. The cat curled up in her nook. So much life. Treats and flowers. There's no deeper sadness than discovering all that you knew was gone. Yeah, like I said, guys, in depression. This place pure depression. Too much to fathom. That's enough. I can't keep on wishing for the past. That's something Kingdom Hearts does so well, like I was talking about, like, they make you feel so much empathy for everything and everyone. People are fucking talking about the dog and the cat. They tell stories very Disney-like, you know? They, they do that partnership with Disney so well. Such an adult story and themes, but somehow brings that inner child of empathy out in you. Not the clock! The roll collapsed when the clock advanced. If only I made it in time. But there is no time in this place, only the clock. Turn back the time, Aqua. Actually... If you turn the time back... Uh, I guess there's no time at all. I was going to say, if you turn the time back far enough here, is there any way you can go back to the beginning in real world? Or I guess this world doesn't affect in time. It's no effect on the outside world. So it's kind of a useless theory. There literally is no such thing as time. 
here. It's just kind of like whatever you decide. Come on, recharge yeah. time. And, okay, let's get to that next gear. You're fucked, boy! Oh, shit. Get the fuck out of my face, bitch. Okay. We got another gear, Aqua. We're doing it! We're getting the clock back! Isn't that glorious? Ah! Oh, another gear! That's two! Getting all the XP, right? Am I right, Aqua? I think I'm right. Okay, one to go, guys. It's good. Always want to kind of, especially on critical fucking, gonna need to grind and level up. So kind of always take on all the heartless you can get your hands on. Especially the weak ones. Just steal all that XP. And here's the final gear. Woo! Yeah, we did it! pathway. Oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, to finish off this celebration video of 15 years of Kingdom Hearts, let's do the first boss battle with the Kingdom Hearts re-engine. Here on critical mode. Well, we're probably going to get eaten alive. We're going to get fucked up. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. about this is kind of boring is the fact that there's fucking like no really other boss battles in this and we're really gonna fuck it up very quickly oh well they might fuck us up they might fuck us up if we don't do something holy shit I was like oh we got this easy guys we've got this easy and then that happened Oh god, her scream is so annoying and horrifying. <laughs> How do I use drive? I don't know! This fucking piece of shit, boss. Oh, fuck off. Fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Yep. 
finally, get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. I'm not going to talk about how many times that took me. Because I'm retarded at this game. Not even memories. They're safe in the darkness. What I wouldn't give to really turn back time. To spend one more night beneath the stars. With my best friends. Oh, Aqua. I'm doing it again. Aqua. It can't be. What are you doing here? You should be in the realm of light. Oh, no. Did you not make it out? Don't tell me. Has the realm of light... Why won't you say anything to me? He's not real, Aqua. <laughs> So what are you? A memory among these shadows? Are you here to try and tell me not to lose heart? Here to fuck with you, Aqua. The world keeps our thoughts alive. But where do the people who lived here go? Once the world was taken away. <laughs> At least they're not here. So they haven't fallen to darkness. I'll take what solace I can from that. Another world that was lost to the darkness. Is that? <laughs> then. <laughs> then. What did you come here to tell me? I know I promised to wake you up. I'm sorry. But I have to find a way home before I can help you. I just want you to know that it's been you that keeps my heart strong, keeps the dark away. It's a mirror. just happened? Welcome to the lovely mirror world, Aqua. Those mirrors, maybe they're a clue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that we're here in the world within, the mirror world, we'll finish it up 
we say goodbye to Kingdom Hearts 3.2 Birth by Sleep, to Kingdom Hearts Dream to Distance, to Kingdom Hearts 2.8 as a whole. Thank you for joining me to enjoy and uh, want to punch myself in the face because it's Kingdom Hearts and that's classic Kingdom Hearts. But thank you for joining me here 15 years on, getting to play some Kingdom Hearts for some celebrations, for some joy and some fun, some banter and some pure rage. And of course, some classic Kingdom Hearts. <laughs>